Weber, what do you want Zach to take away from his success that he had last week going into this week? Uh, confidence. Just, you know, he's, um, when he's playing in timing and rhythm and, and he's sure of himself and he, and he trusts, trust what he sees everyone I think everyone saw the arm talent and uh, and that's the hard part for quarterbacks in this league um, I mean we can have a whole three-hour dissertation or discussion on uh, the development of quarterbacks in this league and uh, um, you know he's the the mental aspect of it is it's hard for a quarterback you know especially coming from this new age college and high school not to uh, throw shade at, at those systems but it's different you know because you can't get away with some of the stuff that uh uh, you get away with uh, coming up from high school and college, coming into this league, and he's doing a great job. His, uh, like I said, his mental toughness and his uh, perseverance and resilient uh, uh, mindset. He's he's done a great job, and I just for him, just stay confident, trust your feet, trust your eyes, let it rip. It's not like this is the first time he's ever played a good game. Uh, for him, it's just not. Let's go stack it up. Just have just carry that confidence over and. Uh, Trust your teammates because a lot of a lot of the stuff he did on on Sunday night was trusting his teammates with those back shoulder throws and being aggressive with his ball placement. Affirmations are great, you know, and uh, but now the the key is to carry it over and do it again. Have you gotten any clarity yet on uh, the sauce hole? You could look at that clip and say, well, he fouled, he didn't foul. Um, the clarity is just the consistency at which we we officiate. That's all, you know, and it's uh and it's not, you know, they got a hard job as is. You know, you go through those three quarters. We were the beneficiaries of some calls. They were the beneficiaries of some. We got away with a couple. They got away with a couple. Um, you know, we were, but there's an, there's a style of play that gets established between officiate uh, the, the, with with the way we officiate versus and the players. So you know, the, their DBs are are handsy. Our DBs are handsy. Um, it's just why in the fourth quarter did we decide to decide that that's all. And uh, you know, because you could look on every play and. I promise you, someone's cheating on every play. It's, it's, you, know, you can throw a flag on every play, but that's, that's not the point. It's what are we, what are we, what, where's the consistency? What are we trying to accomplish? And um, the communication and all that stuff. So um, that, that, that was kind of where the frustration was. Does this feel like a big week for you guys? I, I feel like every week's a big week because, um, you know, it's this sense of urgency to win in this league and to do your best and all that stuff is always at peak levels every week. Um, you know, it's you never want to create uh, make one bigger than the other because that's where you get inconsistency in play. But uh, but this is no different. We're we're traveling on a we're going to a Denver team that just came off a big win and um, they're feeling really good about themselves and they're looking probably looking at their schedule and thinking, hey, we got a chance to get right. So uh, we've got to put our best foot forward and get ready to try to try to win a football game. The sense of urgency should always be the same to me. It should always be as high as possible. And if your urgency is changing based on circumstance, you already lost. Over the summer, Peyton's comments about Hackett got the headline, but he also lumped you guys in with teams that are quote unquote trying to win the off season and mentioned the hard knocks. You know, it's kind of an unflattering comment there. I'm wondering now as you go into this game, are you, are you is there anything to it for you personally? No. Um, I said it before, in in football terms, that was 15 years ago, so it's 20. It's probably it's more like 25 now. It's been a couple of days, so it's but it's 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 long gone. It's this is uh, we're a different football team than we were in training camp. So the, so were they, and uh, we're we're just going out to play a football game. And and the reality is, is coaches aren't the ones who play. It's the players, and uh, we it's our job to put them in the best position possible to uh, be successful. Would he ever end up reaching out to you? Did you ever speak to him? Uh, I'll leave that between he and I. Robert, do you remember what you felt for Brees last year? I mean, that's where it happened in Denver and to see where he is now. He's in a great mindset. Um, uh, everyone loves him. He's uh, He's been working hard. I, I will say this. He he ran violently last week in practice, and, it, and I felt like it carried over in the game. And, um, you know, you can tell he's starting to get his legs underneath him. Even though he's had production, he's... Uh, he still hasn't reached where we know he, what he's capable of and what he's shown in the past, but he's, he's another one that's trending in the right direction.